Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday. Today is Thursday, April 7th, 2022, and it is a day two. Before we kick off this wonderful day, I wanna invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. And um, as I always say, the Mindful Minute is, sounds fancy, you know, but really isn't. It's just noticing that you exist. It's noticing what's around you and noticing what's inside, okay? So let's use our eyes and just scan our environment. Look for something that catches your eyes, something that perhaps you're grateful for and simply observe it, study it, identify what it is, what is it meant to do, how far away it is. Um, you know, does it look brand new? Does it look a little worn? You know, all the things that you might be able to pick up with your eyes. And then with your nose, breathe in and out. What do you notice with your sense of smell? And once again, what does it remind you of? And once again, are you also grateful? You know, observe these things with a lens of gratefulness. With your ears, just pause and listen. All the sounds, are you noticing them? All the sounds that you're now noticing that you didn't notice before? Yep, they're there. And then with your skin, what do you feel with your sense of touch? Clothing, temperature, the humidity, those things. Now we're gonna move on to our breathing technique now. And as I have shared with you uh, in the last few days, our goal was to bring in another one of our classmates to share a new breathing technique. You know, that's the great thing about you is that so many of you are joining me in these breathing techniques that you're beginning to think about good breathing techniques that might be useful first for yourself, but then also for the rest of your classmates here at the school. And some of you have volunteered and have shown some bravery to come up on to video and share them. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our friend Brody. Hey guys, it's Mr. Lynn with our friend. Brody. Nice and loud. What's your name? Br Brody. All right. And Brody, can you tell us you've got a new breathing technique? What's it called? The elephant breathing. The, like a like an elephant with a big trunk? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to see you do it. What do you do when you breathe in with your nose? You go like this. You breathe in. And you go out. With and your you mouth? Go like this. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I think I see the elephant because this almost looks like a trunk, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, why don't I do it? You tell me if I did it right, okay? Okay. <laughs> no? No. Okay, let's try no, this. No, you had to go like. Oh, nice, you and, go like nice this. and slowly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me do that. Now you didn't go, you didn't go like this. You go like. This. Oh, close to your mouth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, close to your mouth. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Oh, like okay. That. All right. Like Can you do that with us five times? And sure. why don't you ask our friends to do it with us? Okay. Nice and loud. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. You breathe in. And you breathe out. One more? Yep. You breathe in. You breathe out. You know what? I can feel it. I can feel it. That I can feel my the air going in through my nose and then letting it out through my mouth. Thanks for sharing that with us. Yes. You want to thank everybody for joining us? Yes. Go ahead. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Say, thank you, everybody. I'll turn it back to Mr. Lin. Thank you, everybody. I'll turn it back to Mr. Lin. Thumbs up. All right. Wow. Great job, Brody. We love it. You know, it, it was interesting when you said the elephant method. I wasn't sure if you're talking about the big ears or the trunk, but um, I definitely see the trunk. And 
Uh, that was great. We really appreciate it. You know, it's really interesting, and I don't know if you know this, uh, our second grade students are beginning to uh, plan out and write out their animal research projects. So this is kind of neat that we're making a connection to an animal. I want to invite all of you guys to join me, okay? Once again, get yourself settled and situated. You know, notice your body. Notice you exist. Notice a chair. Notice your feet on the floor. And let's go ahead and take that first breath in through our nose. And then slowly let it out through your mouth. Let your shoulders relax. Breathe in again. And slowly let it out. Let your shoulders relax. Allow your body to settle into your chair. As you go on, breathe in. Make sure your brain is thinking on this moment, how amazing this breath is. Breathe out but also scan your own body and notice the different parts of it. Scan through it from the toe to your, your toes to your head. Breathe in and breathe out. Notice how the parts of your body feel. Breathe in. Whether they're pleasant or unpleasant feelings, just simply notice the sensation. Breathe out. And speaking of pleasant and unpleasant, also think about what feelings and emotions you brought to school. Breathe in. Whatever those feelings are, some are exciting and pleasant. Breathe out. Others are less pleasant. Regardless, just identify those feelings. Breathe in. And let them in. Breathe out. And let those feelings tell you the messages they need to tell you. Now in a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, it's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You could go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. Great job, Brody. We love your new breathing technique. That was real fun to do it with you, and it was also fun to share it with everyone else at our school. Don't forget, we have three expectations here at the school. Number one, most of you guys showed that right now, which is that respect to Brody as he shared the elephant breathing technique. You guys were most likely using your eyes, watching the screen, and your ears to listen. And I'm sure there's going to be that time when it's your turn to use your mouth to express yourself, whether it's sharing your breathing technique or even just whatever ideas pop up that are part of a lesson that your teachers are teaching. Well, when it's your turn to talk, I hope other people give you that same respect with their ears and with their eyes. All right, now let's also be responsible with our hands and our feet and the words that come out of our mouth and the way we think and the attitude we put forth on things because uh, our attitude is something we can be uh, in control of, that we should practice being in control of. It's something we can be responsible for. You know, I was talking to a second grade uh, girl yesterday and we were talking about this, uh, this message I actually shared with a lot of you earlier this year, which is our hands can be used in hurtful ways or helpful ways, but our whole body can be used in helpful or hurtful or lazy ways, right? So allowing yourself to recognize you don't have to change, you just have to put the best version of yourself out there. You see, there's a lazy side of me, there's a angry side of me, there's a side of me that I'm not very proud of and I know I can act that way and what I've been trying to do as I get older and older is I try to take that Mr. Lynn that I'm not so proud of and I try to put it back in the box 
is what I really want to show you and myself is the best version of me. The the version that says I love you, the version that roots you on, the root, the, the the version of me that wants to help whenever someone needs a hand. That's the version of Mr. Lynn I keep trying to show, and I hope I'm doing a good job. I hope you think that I'm doing a good job, and I hope too that you're trying to show the best version of yourself as well. That's also part of being responsible, just as important as keeping your promise, just as important as doing your homework, taking care to use yourself in the best version. That brings us to being ready. When we are showing ourselves in the best version of ourselves, we are not perfect. There are going to be times when we're going to fail and we can get, our, get upset and worked up over that or we could just say that's part of learning. That's part of moving on to that next, to that next level of who I can be, right? So, so oh, when we talk about being ready to learn or ready to do anything, that includes being ready to fail and knowing what to do when you fall short and you don't actually accomplish what you wanted to accomplish. It's not the end of the world. It's just a moment to reflect and do better next time. And that brings us to our character trait of the month, perseverance, don't give up, keep swimming, keep swimming. You know how that goes. You know, there are times when it's easy to want to give up. It's, t it's easy to crawl into your shell or hide under the covers of your bed. You don't really want to face the world and everything that it's asking you to do. But if you take the moment to say, you know what, everything I do for the world is also making me better. If you know that you're going to be a better person by living life and trying your best, why not do it? Okay, so show that perseverance. Last but not least, and I mean this so much, I love you guys just the way you are, how different you are, and how you're evolving. Yes, we're changing. We're supposed to change in school. We're going to learn more and more things and apply it. But also, I love the way you are, especially the best version of yourself. So today, boys and girls, show the best version of yourself. Go find other people. Tell them you love them just the way they are. Give them thanks. Say thank you for being a part of the, uh, your life. And uh, let's enjoy this day together. All right? Can't wait to see you guys around. Have an amazing Thursday.